What is up, everybody? It's Jake here again, and today I actually have a furniture review for you. And a little bit of a setup update, but mostly furniture and somewhat update. So, what I have today in front of me is the Brenton Studio Zentra Collection L Desk. Uh, it is made of tempered glass and steel, I believe? Might be incorrect. I'm not exactly sure about what the metal is, but it's tempered glass and metal, well, uh, it looks very, very nice. It's an L desk. It has one main desk like that, and then one computer desk which features, of course, a keyboard tray. Now that is not important for now, but it's very nice. It's big. It is a big desk, so you will want a big room to fit it with. Um, regardless, it's actually not too bad. Um, there are stickers, of course, which I'm going to take off real quick. But, there we go. That's the, that's the third one I've had to take it out, but no problem. Um, basically, this would be way over here, except I have a very small room, so it's kind of cramped at the moment. And it also comes with a corner piece, which would go there. We didn't get the corner piece, because we realized, <coughs> excuse me, we realized how small my room was. At the, at the current moment, so we didn't plan on getting that, and probably won't. Um, but right now, my stuff is back there, I have my laptop here, and I'm working everything out with the setup. So here is the setup for the setup portion of the video. Uh, I do not have my monitor wall mounted anymore, I have it completely off. I have the Lycosa here, the Steel Series QCK mini gaming pad, the eBlue Cobra gaming mouse, high precision gaming mouse rather and the Razer Nostromo gamepad. So, the only thing that I found is a little bit of a downside with the glass desk is that you will get fingerprint all over it and you're going if you're OCD like me, you're going to have to wipe it down just to make it look a little bit nicer. It's not really too bad, uh, but as a heads up. So it has a few support bars in the back on both desks that, was, that were a pain in the ass to get in. Um, the construction does require a little bit of tune-up, so to speak. If you do have a small doorway, say, this wide, that you want to fit the, the desk through, I would recommend not... I would recommend putting the glass on after you get it in the room, because it has about an inch and a half on both sides, or, yeah, on front and back of an overlay from the glass, so about three inches total. So that's going to question how far away you have from the wall or etc. I have it a little far away right now, um, and that's because uh, that's just because I could fit cords behind there and everything. So that is pretty much it for the desk, and that is pretty much it for the setup as well. I have my computer over here now, which is, stands on the old nightstand that I had over there. The desk is very nice. It has a full you know, pull out keyboard tray as usual. It looks classy as all hell. I mean, if you're looking for a classy setup, if you're looking for uh, something that isn't, you know, isn't too bad, yes, it's glass and it's not wood, so there are a little bit more precautionary measures with it. But I got a, my recent, uh, my local Office Max recently, not for not very much. I don't remember exactly how much it was. But you do get service protection plan for uh, four years, I believe. It's Office Max Services. I think it's $19.99 for four years or something that just covers any chips or accidental damages. Uh, accidental ja damages, of course, including if it's damaged you know, um, on arrival or right out of the box. So I did get a bookshelf. Sorry, let me focus back. I did get a bookshelf, which will be going here and that will be gone that will be replaced with a mini bookshelf which will probably go there my nerf guns will probably go in the closet and the bed will probably go up against the wall um yeah again it's a pain in the ass like everything is a little difficult to set up it's not too bad honestly i got my speakers and everything that was that was no problem it, it probably hooking up your computer again is probably the most exciting part um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do have some new videos coming up. I just got a program that is hopefully going to help me out quite a bit. 
I just got Adobe After Effects CS6, and I'm going to get Premiere Pro in just a few days, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to get Premiere Pro, I'm going to upgrade parts sooner or later, I'm just entering college in, in about two weeks-ish. So that's going to be fun. This is essentially going to be my dorm, dorm room uh, until I move out probably early next year or late next year. Um, and that's pretty much it for now, you guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any questions. I will try my best to put the exact dimensions and everything of this good old deal. I will try and put that in the, uh, in the description. And I will see you guys in a few days.